Hey, yeah, it's me, Lila, back again, g Rides. And I decided that today we would talk a little bit about the Harley-Davidson Challenge and some of the spots that I saw on my recent epic journey cross-country. See all those little things? Those are little um, mementos that Harley-Davidson gives you if you join in the Hog Group Challenges. And I don't know if you can, I don't know why this is sideways. I'm, apparently my camera skills are failing me again. Anyway, if you turn your phone sideways, if you're watching on a phone, you can see up there in Washington that I caught a couple of those things before I even left in October to go cross country. Yeah, I, so I got those before I even left. But as you can see, I got a lot of other ones too. And on the way cross country, I got all of those location challenges, which is they have like 50 spots, you know, one in each state where it's supposed to be an iconic route you can ride. You take your picture and you submit it. And then they had 10 spots for 23, which they called it last year. This year it's 10 for 24, but we'll talk about that later. Um, but anyway, so I went and I got those also. This is at the Prada art installation of Marfa, and this is in Vanderpool, Texas. But, oh my gosh, you guys, I had so much fun going to all these spots. I wonder if anybody really would actually think that I did them all on the same day, because I'm essentially in the same clothes at every stop. It's kind of funny. If you um, are considering doing this challenge, I would highly encourage it. The hog group costs you like 50 bucks for a year. And if you take the Safe Rider courses, they reimburse you for those. And I think it's like Harley-Davidson cash. But, you know, they plan lots of really iconic routes for you to see. And this is a picture of me taking a picture by Elvis's butt because that's the only way the sun was showing that day. But, yeah, so, you know, they find you some really cool stuff to go see and interesting places to stop. And, of course, you know, I've talked to so many people while I was out and traveling. This I was almost home here. Can you tell, man? I looked tired. And this is, of course, out of sequence. That's me being so proud of myself in Key West. And this is my dog, my cat, Zipper, and my dog, Bubba. And they're both glad I'm home. See you next week.